Should I, should I turn this light on? Yeah, I'm gonna turn the light on. I don't have my little ring light thing. What's up, JB Navy? Is this thing calling my phone? My phone just be doing what it wanted. Why is it doing that? What's up, y'all? I'm about to go inside work, right? I got a couple minutes, though. What's up? What's up, JB Navy? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Okay, y'all. So look, y'all keep asking me about people keep tagging me and keep asking me about in Atlanta and they keep on asking me about the money. They keep on asking me about these parties that went on in Atlanta. Let me tell y'all the truth about what went on at these parties here in Atlanta. Okay. So Q from Quality Control, who was also the manager of Migos, City Girls, um, a whole bunch of people, right? He did this, um, oh, look, is this Harmony? No, that ain't Harmony. He did this um, big party called the Stripper Bowl, right? And everybody, you know, it went viral because he threw, like, a, what they say, like 500,000 or something, 200,000 to 500,000, right? And even Lil Boosie made, like, a little video saying how he was there and he was throwing money. Okay, all this money was thrown, but y'all can stop saying that these strippers made 120000 a piece. They didn't make 120000 a piece, okay? I know some of the girls that went to the stripper bowl because they came to my shop to buy some dance clothes. Let me tell y'all the truth. That shit is all for Instagram. That shit ain't nothing but a bunch of niggas stunting on each other. This, this they ain't, That ain't got nothing to do with no dances. They don't give a fuck about the dances, okay? Them girls did not make 120 a piece. This ain't got nothing to do with hating. This is about facts. This is the truth. Because I don't want them making it seem like they made all this money. It was a hundred fucking girls, probably a little bit over a hundred. They threw all that money. They break, they, let me tell you how they really do it. They break off their promoters. They break off their club. They don't give a fuck about the dancers. We, the dancers was used as a pond as a reason to throw all the money. All that shit was for Instagram. That shit wasn't for no other reason. No cat party. I fuck with big bank, but the girls that worked at the no cat party was also dis disappointed too. Um, the no, they said in the no cap part, they had to give half the half. The, they, these girls sit up all night counting all this money, thinking that they about to take home a real hefty check. And they only taking twelve hundred, a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred dollars home. And they sat there and watched a half a million dollars get thrown all over them. That shit not cool to me. I don't fuck with shit like that. That's why I never engage in those type of parties. And I never engage with that shit because I know it ain't nothing but a big social media fucking stunt. OK, um, so from what I hear about the no cap party, they ha they had to get a club half the money and the girls left with a little bit over a thousand. This big stripper pole stripper bowl that y'all seeing that's going viral with all the money being everywhere and all the rappers and shit. Them girls left with a little bit over a thousand dollars. That was it. Now, although that's some money, although it's free money, that's not the point. The point is. You watching $500,000 or more being thrown all over you. You working for it and you thinking you about to make this big check and you don't. So I, and they making it seem like it's about the strippers. It ain't about the strippers. They throwing all this fucking money just to post up a video on Instagram or to post some pictures on Instagram. That's all this is about. All these niggas just, they just stunting. That's all they doing. It's not about the strippers. They don't give a fuck about the strippers. Okay. So when y'all see these big events go down, it's only a couple events where girls make big money, okay? And let me tell y'all one of the events that I know about personally, a Floyd Mayweather event. Let me tell you something. Floyd Mayweather would get like 10, 15 girls and he cashed the fuck out. I ain't never heard a girl complain about dancing for Floyd Mayweather. Never heard it. You know, I even been tipped by Floyd Mayweather before in Philly. He passed out $100 bills to the whole club, whoever was in his section. You know what I'm saying? So Floyd Mayweather, the realest nigga I know when it comes to strip club. These other niggas, all this shit been bullshit that they've been doing. Y'all ask me my opinion on these big stripper bowls and these big stripper parties. That's my opinion. So a lot of it is facts, but y'all know it is what it is. Don't believe the hype. A lot of this shit is for the gram, and that's what it is. I'm about to go into work. I'm about to clock in. Um, Y'all know, share this video. Share this video because this is the truth, and I know a lot of dancers is going to be happy that I'm saying this because it was a lot of girls that commented under the shade room after the pictures and the video went viral and was like, don't believe the hype. We did not make the amount of money that y'all thought they made. Once again, I was not a part of that party, but I knew I know girls that was, and that's where